You feel me? No cash. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Diana Garcia, and I'm here with Marvel Marco. Marco. All right, Marco. Marco the shooter. However you want to put it, man. Facts. Round two. Round, round two. two. Okay. This, two. like, round two is going to come out for sure. For I'm, sure. I'm with you. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool it's cool though because like that's the beauty of it. like no. we just got more to talk about we really do yeah if you guys don't follow marco right now like y'all y'all late okay first and foremost because you've really been growing as a creative from birthday boy to now <laughs> being a part of um 85 um 85 style show yeah with you dropping a new you drop consistently, not consistently, but I feel like every year you have a project and it's just getting better and better. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. um, so let's kind of start from the beginning. You went to Howard. For sure. You're at Howard, and that's kind of how it's kind of started from your family. They did photography, if I'm not mistaken, or they uh, were kind of. I had a I had an artistic family, mm -hmm. and yeah, now you are right. Like, well, my late mother. Mm -hmm. She was she wasn't a photographer, but she loved to take pictures. Yeah. At no point was I ever like just interested in the in, in the camera at all. Mm -hmm. But she did take a lot of pictures, and then I moved in with her sister eventually, mm -hmm. and she she was a photographer. Oh, okay. Um, my auntie Lita Lita Hooper, she a photographer writer, and. She's a yeah. She actually took classes, and I actually I never I, I never bothered her about it like or asked questions until senior year after high school. Yeah, I felt like I I had to take an elective, and it ended up being yearbook. Yeah. So I just got the I got the camera. Well, well, the teacher offered me the job of being a photographer. So I was taking pictures of all the gangs, but I was also taking the camera home with me back from boarding school. I went to Riverside in Gainesville, but. I was coming back home on the weekends, taking the camera back mm -hmm. with me, just, you know, but I was taking pictures of myself, just being cool for Instagram, <laughs> yeah, messing around on my phone and stuff. And yeah. then when I went to Howard, uh, my aunt was like, um, you should, like, she, like, you should take up, like, you should take up photography up there. And she gave me some money to buy a camera, um, for, out of Target, and mm -hmm. I got I got. I don't. Even, I can't even remember what it was. I think I always just gravitated towards Nikon for some reason. So I feel like it was a, it was a starter Nikon, but one of the newer starters to the point where you couldn't even put a lens on it. It was just like mm. a digital, like point and shoot. Okay. But it, but it served its purpose. I took pictures of all like that. Was, that was definitely like a more extroverted time for me, mm. cause there was a week of straight partying at Howard. Mm -hmm. So I went to all those parties with that camera and was getting everybody's Instagram every time I took a picture. And D DC was DC was cool in a way of, compared to Atlanta, DC was cool to the point where I guess, well, our tax dollars pay for the museums or something, so mm -hmm. they're free. Yeah. So okay. yeah, like I was going to museums and all these other attractions in DC, like for free with my friends. Just inviting friends there, doing photo shoots, and eventually just got known for doing photography around the campus. And my boy Tahir Murray, he uh, he has a back then it was called Tradition, but mm -hmm. he has a very big uh, historically black college based brand. Yeah. Legacy History Pride. Definitely got to get him in tune, in tune with you too. But he was the first person to really hire me for a photo shoot for some money. Oh, wow. You know, like, yeah, yeah. His dad his dad had just gave him, like, he, the business, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He, they just, mm -hmm. like, passed the business on to him, and it was the first photo shoot. And he, and he got hired me. That was my first whole, okay, so I can get paid for this. Then I, then I did graduation shoots. Then I left for that summer, and I I think I I ended up getting bored that summer riding Birthday Boy, mm -hmm. and then some way I some well yeah my uh my cousin 
out of nowhere had put me in a DM with uh, an employee from Cam Kirk Studios mm -hmm. and told him that I was a photographer and, you know, to, you know, you know, mess with my young partner, you yeah, feel yeah. me? So he never responded, but like, I'm, I'm in tune, so I click the, I click his page, go see what's up, oh, Cam Kirk. I do my own research, so yeah. I just get in there. I, th that's back when they had like the free hours, shout out uh, Cam Kirk. Facts. Um, yeah, and I, I, I went there. And I think I think I met you like my first shoot or something. <laughs> yeah, first day. <laughs> I was about to say, that's how we met. And honestly, I feel like, well, not feel like, but that's what started the whole shake in the culture because I started meeting people like you that were some dope ass creatives and it's like, yo, what? And then like the story that you guys have to how you got to where you're at and now just seeing you grow and see everything you've done from directing, from photography, music videos, you go crazy. The recaps, you directing, it's just you evolving, you know? So I'm like, damn, if I would have never stepped foot at Camp Craig Studio or even met you, like... Nah, yeah, it's crazy how the It's insane. That's why I got to tell them folks, like, I really... I was riding in the car with Diane, like, <laughs> like, from a shoot, and she was like, yeah, I want to, like... I want to create a platform for artists like you. She everything that she's doing right now, she said it like it started from an idea from work. So it's cool to even. I'm proud Feel of you this. just to see you. Thanks. Build it up. Yeah. Just to this, the festivals, the interviews, Me. spotlight on different types of you doing you doing the thing. You no, know, I appreciate you guys, especially your family. Like shout out to your family because that's how we got to Detroit. Appreciate, babe. Why we were in Detroit? Like, all, all because. <laughs> Like shout out to my older brother Dank, yeah. Malik. We, we we both be working so much now that like it's so much motion going on. We might not even know about each other's motion sometimes. Yeah. Like I I ain't even I, I found out about you like staying with my old my cousins in Detroit when I went to Detroit. Really? So I ain't even. I was just I was. <laughs> I, I ain't even say nothing, but I, I just, like, put two and two together. I'm like, I'm guessing, like, she, I'm like, oh, they they cool. Yeah. Hey, I was like, you hugging my other guy? I'm like, okay, she, like, she cool. They, 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 um, but nah, like, yeah, yeah you, really, you really family, like, yeah. I'm proud of you. No, I, we've definitely elevated so much. Because this started 2019, now we're in 2023, you know, and you've been doing huge things. Um, Like I said, you did some cover art. Do you have a favorite cover art you've done from these artists? Favorite cover art? Because mm -hmm. you do some crazy ones. And I know, I feel like, um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before that, you actually dropped some cover art. You were like, these were my top ones because they were like uh, creative ones. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dang, I brought my I brought one of my close artists I, I work with Sable with me. I don't want him to feel jealous, <laughs> right? <laughs> get jealous and let nah, you pick it up. <laughs> shout out Sable though. If you don't follow PC Sable, you need to get in tune. That's all I'm gonna tell you because the music speaks for itself. But yeah, nah. Uh, another artist on the on the rise, Woo the Savage. Okay, I think I've seen him. Yeah, I could definitely get you into her too. She on her way up, and we and we did a. a Scar, like I th mm. I'm pretty sure the tape is called Scar, mm -hmm. and yeah, she did like a like a zo almost a zombie like gash on her face, and the makeup was yeah. like crazy mm -hmm. effects, and looked really cool. My bad, I just touched the mic. Is it good? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, it was some crazy. It looked it looked crazy, and when, and it was one of those shoots where I pulled up. And I was like, oh, nah, we got to like the brick wall. That's not outside. That's in the dressing room at Cam Kirk Studios. Mm, like, oh, I've seen that. Yeah. So and I just knew when I saw it, like, oh, yeah, I want some some kind of red kind of beam, almost sunset light, but um, all devilish light on it. And the cover yeah. just came together so smooth and, and fire which and, and crazy. It, it, it took a long time to come out. I think the cover like I shot, that's when... That, that's why I was a little confused when you said some years ago, but it added up because the cover ain't dropped till um, at least a, later on. Probably like almost a year after I took it. Mm, okay, but, okay. But I'm navigating that now too, cause like I guess I guess I could say the the more you know work I do, 
and I wouldn't say everything is industry or whatever, but you know, certain things like the the work is done way earlier now, so I'm got, I'm having to wait on drops and stuff. Love like that. Yeah, no, facts. Um, you worked with um you did Color Ways B T? Uh B T. Uh, uh BTS photos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, how was that? Bro. I was working with her. Um it was it was cool. Uh that was a opportunity that came from just being at camp uh, working at Camp Kirk behind the scenes. Mm-hmm. And just being able to always have the opportunity to, you know, go into the environment and just meet, you know, you know these celebrities. And Cola Ray was actually pretty cool to meet. Yeah, I feel very, like she's very definitely. talented, and she's very, very knowledgeable of how how she wants to navigate the music industry. That was one of the interesting things I saw about her. I noticed about her. her yeah. So, what would you say is your style of photography? style of photography mm -hmm. i still I, st I still don't have i still don't have a style to me for real really yeah i mean so i do st i have gotten that my shadow work is really interesting but that's the thing it's interesting because i don't really i do go for a more dramatic look okay. but at the same time i don't purposely like oh yeah i want a shadow there yeah i'm not i'm not there yet but yeah. um Nah, uh, I do love colors though. Maybe it's because of like comics and stuff, but mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I shoot everything. You know, I try to curate my page to where people know that I shoot everything too. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't post as many as many as my uh, family shoots and baby and kids because yeah, yeah. I do a lot of birthdays and school shoots, which are, are cool too. But I definitely am moving towards more creative and shoots and showing folks you know what i can do for real mm -hmm. everything that's in here no facts um i feel like when people mention your name i feel like you can't just label you as a photographer i feel like you can't just label you as a videographer because you're, you're genuinely a creative you know you you're a director that's one of the biggest things or that's one of your major major goals if i'm not mistaken is that like the first thing you want to accomplish or be known for or is it the other things? Um, it's crazy because I actually get that question a lot, but I, I don't. I mean, I don't know because I feel like it, it's all opinionated from the outside mm, in mm -hmm. a way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't plan on even being a photographer before. Like, if you told me that out of high school. <laughs> that I would be doing doing this right here, I probably would be like, hmm, well, like how how did that happen? Yeah. But in terms of what I want to do, yeah, of course, I want to be. A, I feel like I am a, a, a amateur amateur photographer. Maybe maybe a little more talented in some in some people's eyes, but also respect the many OGs that I've met in the game. Yeah. Cam Kirk, Skrill Davis. Amazing. Like, Ryder, one of my biggest insp inspirations. He's fire. Um, man, it's so many. But those, those just come. Those just, oh, exquisite. I, all right, I'm true. Right, I'm done. I don't want nobody to get jealous. But, <laughs> um, nah, yeah, I respect the, I respect that people have been doing this for a long time and mm -hmm. that it takes time to, like, you know, be considered among at a certain level and it takes knowledge and experience you know i know i i can always learn i will always have space to learn and i don't necessarily see a necessity to prove to people what i want to be at a certain time you know because i feel like that puts this kind of energy into me where I feel like I have to show people I'm working or I have to because at the time I was thinking like dang like I want to I want to act I want to direct I want to I want to show people that I can direct and do films but I also want to be a, a really good photographer yeah, you be I also want to show show people this and that but then I was like as I kept as I just kept working and of course decide figured out different ways to get over that I also noticed that people, regardless of how I could ever like explain what I do to people, yeah, 
folks don't be tuned in anyway. Like they be tuned in, but some, but like the average, like I still get the question like every now and then. Like you still take photos? Yeah. Like, oh, oh, you, oh, you be do doing? All. Like Michael, you do videos? I feel like, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Sometimes it is like a, a undercover trying to oh can I get can I get a discount type but mm. a lot of the times it really be like I don't know what you do type type stuff and I feel like maybe it's because I cut down on my story a little bit but at the same time part of that is what I learned is that I really got to put part of my language but I got to put that shit in folks face for real yeah you do. like you really do it's easy to get comfortable with social media because it gives you this idea that you're reaching out to everybody yeah, it's but really not. The more I started working, I realized that I'm getting more clientele and I'm getting more emotion off real relationships. Talk like like talking to people, like really telling people, "Oh, this is what I do. This is what I offer." Like I realized the social media. Well, I've been know I've been known it's only one tool, but it's also like you got to go farther than that, and you really like Dude. like folks. Folks are different types of learners. I'm a I'm a more visual learner. I feel like that's why Same. I like comics more than regular <laughs> books. Just cause I I feel like that's that's one of them like the simplest things to explain to people. Yeah. Even though people still kind of ask me on some I'm interested type shit. Yeah. Like why you like comics? I feel like it's simple. Like what is more interesting? Words with pictures or words with nothing? Just just black words. and white. It's like black that, and white. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But nah, people are different learners. So. You 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 can post whatever, whatever time, whatever day, somebody gonna scroll past it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got. I, I just I just figured out that I gotta figure out different ways to give my content to the masses. Yeah. And I'm working on that right now, just like Project Storm. <laughs> yeah, that was the next thing I want to bring up. So, how long were you plotting on this? Okay. Because, um, like I said, Project Storm, this is more of photography, correct? Or is it... Are, yeah, it's do my we first photography project. So, can we expect later on for it to kind of turn into a visual? Yeah, nah, like, honestly, Project Storm, it, it's the first in a series of, okay. you know, Marvel-inspired photography. Facts. I, I might I might do some I might do do a video do some videography with it but I want to I want I want it to be fine if that's the you know what I'm saying yeah, if I do yeah. some some Marvel video you know what I'm saying I got I got to go crazy but in terms of the project like I I started I had the idea of 2021 and I knew early that I wanted to work with other people on it mm -hmm. like in that at the time I didn't know was going to be the a huge factor in how the project got done. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And what's crazy is that this is the type of stuff the school kind of might have prepared me a little bit for because it's oh, just so. like a group project. Okay. You know, I worked with Ariel, Yasmin, very talented designer. But I believe I believe you know her. Um, Smart Blonde, a.k.a. Taylor. She's a stylist and a private chef works on 85 south with me and Dope. my boy hunter he's a dope graphic designer one of the most underrated graphic designers in the city and i recruited them just to show you know is it good to work horizontally you know you don't always have to reach out and try to grab the best the best people with the most followers or yeah who's working with who you know work with your friends yeah. And just to show like the beauty of people of color working together, you yeah. know, and it it took longer than usual because working in a group is a little harder. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everybody got schedules and everybody's schedule can't add up all the time, but it ended up coming together. And once it once I did uh, finish the shoot. I kind of found myself stumped at a place of I wanted to release it in a way that was past Instagram. Mm -hmm. I'm even and honestly like I'm not stumped right now because I do have a couple things in motion, but I'm still in that point of like because it is it is technically just an Instagram post. I feel like I definitely showed 
how it came together. So yeah. it's a little, it's a little more. Yeah. But yeah, like I'm really, I really, I feel like I, I just said it a little, a little bit earlier. I want to go. I'm definitely focused on going past Instagram. Yeah. You know what I'm exactly. saying, like, I want to really touch, really touch people, give something, give folks a piece for real, and it's cool, like, a real, a real passion project. I want like folks to feel like they have a part of me. I never did a photography project before and I didn't really know how I wanted to go about it for so long because I felt like there was a certain type of way I I had to had to do it or I had, it had to be complex when it was like why don't I merge something I like with photography like Marvel Comics. Yeah. So um how to what made you want love Marvel? Like you don't like Marvel, you love Marvel. How did um, that come about? Man, I honestly, I oh I do know, but I, I like I, it started so early that I don't know exactly like where it came from. Like I wish I wish I did have a story of like oh, like I saw I saw this, this and then like, it was over yeah, with. Like yeah. nah, just ever since a little kid, I don't know where the first what first show I saw or what I was introduced to, but my favorite hero was Spider Man. And I was just always interested in just the Marvel Universe and all these different characters and how vast this universe is and the fact that it's so limitless, you know? I don't, I don't actually explain this to people because, I, I, you know, most people ain't go, ain't go get it. It is, it is not, it's a little surface level, so I just say I'll be the comics. But yeah. I, like, that inspired my whole creativity because that's, I feel like that that was my first b b burst of color for real. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, I see that. Like, neat. It was, I don't know. Like I still I still can't tell you. I just started I started off with the comics, the movies, that too. I'm blessed. I was born in the right <laughs> time. time. I be think like this is some real fan stuff to say, <laughs> but I be thinking about it a lot. I'm really blessed to be born during this time, because I cannot imagine being born where I didn't see Spider-Man 1. To now? To Ant-Man Quantumania. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. I thought I was finna, I was finna skip a movie. Nah, nah. <laughs> I really did. I seen all the old Marvel movies, too. I seen it all. I seen, I seen the, I seen, I, I, see, I see DC, all that, all that, I, I, anything, superpowers, superheroes, I'm on that. But Marvel, of course, gets the love, because, yeah. you know. It's just me. Oh, peep the shirt too. Yeah, peep like, the shirt because okay, you were the one who put me on to Marvel. Like we had a went to go watch it. What movie was that? Uh, uh dang. That it's been a minute. It's been a minute, but, but it was, it was yeah, one of them. It, it was, was one, one it was really good. I was it like, might have been it might have been the last it was it the last Ant Man or Doctor Strange or something. I don't it, know. It was not Doctor Strange because I would remember it would have been no, okay. so it was before that. Because okay. we met in two thousand nineteen. Two twenty nineteen. Uh, so I don't, I don't know what, yeah, but you gotta look. Yeah, but you really. Need, I need to. Uh, I need to update my. Yeah, see my what, movie. Yeah, my movie knowledge of release when it, dates. things came out. Yeah, facts. But yeah, no, you're the really the reason why I was like, oh shit, it was before the pandemic because during the pandemic I actually sat down and watched the other Marvel so I could keep up to what oh, really was yeah. going on. I was like, oh shit, I had really been slacking on this and exactly. just like I would watch them, but I would never really pay attention. Until now, I'm like, oh shit! Exactly. Now, like that's a cool story. Like folks be act like, uh, I'm not finna, I'm not finna get into it. <laughs> I mean, I am gonna get into it w with another, you know, yeah, yeah, another lane that I'm finna get into. But nah, folks, folks should be acting like like it's not that, it's not even that complex. Marvel is just fine. It is it's good. It's good stories. It's superheroes. Beat them up. Now beat them up. up. That's it. That's <laughs> all you. Wait, 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 it don't get better than that. It's facts. people of color. Got all races represented. Yeah. Okay. No, it, it don't get better than that. Folks, we, folks, I, I get the corniness and all that other stuff that folks expect sometimes, but, you know, hey, can't please everybody. But. Let me not, let me not get, get too. So, what do you think is, what is your superpower? My superpower? As of right now, somebody would. AKA me, <laughs> would ask you, what's your superpower? Because everybody has a superpower. What What's do you think my yours power? is right now? It's crazy. There's also some more fan shit to say, but, like, 
I hate that I gotta answer this question because like I want a real superpower. I wish I had a superpower. You do uh -huh. though. You really do. Because uh -huh. some people would be like, so they're like, their superpower is patience. You know, they have way more pain. They take oh, patience towards that. that. Patience. Um, uh, let's see. Um, um, I can't think of nothing right now. Or oh, I can, but it's not. It's in the tip of my tongue, but I can't say it. Um, let's see. Some people are really generous. You know, that's their superpower. Some people could block all the noise and just keep on doing them. Could be super selfish. That's I don't know if that you say a superpower or like a villain type of thing. <laughs> but what would you say yours would I have be? The power of selfishness. Exactly. Like shit. Fuck everybody. It's all about me. But they get shit done. You know, discipline. That's a superpower. I feel like I feel like I have the power of. I have the power of g genuineness. Genuineness? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I feel like for the most part, you know, I'm human. So, you know, I might make mistakes or whatever. Yeah. But off rip, yeah, anybody I meet, man, woman, any anybody, yeah. other, I'm going to treat you with respect. Facts, you really do. Rip, and I try to see everybody for the genuine person that they are. Mm. You know, that's probably why, you know, I pride myself on the relationships I have with clients. Yeah. And like, see that. you know, my personal relationships, even like, I feel like that's probably why, like, I might feel the way when I do know that like, I might have hurt somebody a genuine. Yeah. Spirit. But, yeah. you know, that's how it goes sometimes. No, facts, facts, facts. All right, so what can we expect for 2023? What 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 do you consider this year to be for you? 2023? Mm -hmm. Man, I don't know if it's me, but, like, it's moving so fast. Yeah. Or maybe, like, the way I'm thinking right now, I'll just be like, wow, like, it's going to be summer, and then it's going to be Christmas again, and then it's going to be 2024. That's but, literally how I be thinking, too. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, yeah, because oh. with the schedules and yeah, yeah, I know, I know that's how you yeah. think. But nah, twenty twenty three, I got, I got, I got some plans. Like, I know I just told myself, I'm, I'm dropping. Like, you know, I spent twenty twenty two, twenty twenty one, a lot of that, like working for other people, which ain't bad. You know, I yeah. love what I do, and I feel like, you know, that's the beauty of art is working is working with others. But a lot, like I said, a lot of the projects that I've done, while well, I've worked so much that some projects I have got, I've just overlooked and kept in the cut. Yeah. So absolutely. that's why you might see me like uh, drop a picture from a shoot or something or a random, you, yeah, you know, because I might yeah. find it. But then also figuring out like, just like I said, different ways to reach the masses with my art. So like Project Storm, I'll go ahead and tell you like, I'm finna do a t-shirt, like a multi-layer t-shirt nice. with Project Storm, like a graphic, you, you know? Dope. Maybe, I'm probably gonna do like a family and friends or something, but, and just some accessory or something, but definitely gotta do some prints, you know? Uh, I'm gearing up to figure out what the next segment of my uh, photography series is gonna be nice I actually i actually know it's gonna it's gonna be similar but it's gonna be a different character of course nice um what about movies are we do we expect a movie or is what's what's happening in the movie scene for you directing what what's good with that i'm definitely planning on hopping more in my director bag like mm. music video wise okay uh shout out my boy pc he wanted to re uh artists that i've been working with closely recently um he, he trusted me to you know produce and direct his videos so yeah, yeah go ahead bring them budgets to me and i i get it done for real no facts um, in terms of short films i don't have any planned i do have a lot of a lot of scripts mm -hmm. unfinished scripts that i'm just taking my time with I feel like my last three short films were a good display of what I can do. And I feel like, you know, now it's time for character development and, you know, underlying messages and really, and you, I'm also, you know, putting part of my life into in, it, in, yeah. in, in some of these scripts too. Nice. But 
you know. And I, but but you know, I got I got some I got some other stuff planned besides the to make up for the short films. And you might y'all might see some some little itty bitty even shorter shorter okay. projects. Okay, okay, dope. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what you do from here on out. Because like I said, you just keep on elevating. I love your intros. The most re- recent um, intro you did for what project or what a short film did you drop? I believe it was last year. Um, with the two girls. Uh, it was two girls and one guy. That was oh, the cover. F- for, uh, um, um, you you talking about... Because uh, the intro definitely gave me Marvel. When it said Marvel Marco. Oh, 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 you talking about, um, why is the name not coming to me? Because I'm thinking of the short, I'm thinking of the second one, if it ain't one thing. It's but, another. But uh, it's the third, it's, the, it's my latest one, which, why, like, why can't I think of this? It went blank. You really I, just, I just went, went blank. blank. It's uh, with Jelani and Monty and Mila Bucks. Shout out Mila Bucks. She just uh, starred in Sonata Lathan's directorial debut. And Easy Lick. There you yes. go. Yes. There Easy you go. Lick. My that latest w- short film. Definitely check that out. Yeah. Easy Lick. Your intros and how you're presenting yourself, I'm like, oh, yeah, you could tell that this is going to be something different. You know, it's not just something, oh, let's just all meet up. And it's, like, actually planned out. Oh, ah, yeah. Like, that third that third short film is definitely, I feel like, my best. Not only because um, I actually did get get to get behind the camera myself this time and direct mm-hmm. which i will say is a little harder so i probably won't do it as much yeah, yeah, yeah. but i but that did give me an advantage to the point where okay i could control everything but shout out aj iju and caleb jamele and the whole crew they helped me so much with them first two short films and i w- wouldn't be here without them but now that third one i also feel like that's my that, that's like my best written yeah, I, you know. I really enjoyed it. I'm telling yeah, you, the interesting little, outro, good little plot twist. Yep, you know. it was. So if you guys check don't, yeah, if like you guys don't know about it, I need you to go check that out. Everything will be in the link below, regardless. But I just want to say I appreciate you, and I can't wait to see you grow. And everything you're doing is it's just the beginning. I just want to say I appreciate you, vice versa. <laughs> you know. Thank you. I'm looking forward. The next time I come will be even bigger. Right? Be like, yeah, now we got a whole building. Yeah. <laughs> gotta hey, go through chubs. Hey, yeah. Security and whatnot. What, 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 what floor is shaking the culture on? Right? But like, it was the whole building. Yeah, Just yeah. let you guys know. No, I'm <laughs> kidding. We'll get there eventually. Yeah. But yeah, so where can we follow you at? How can we support you? You can follow me at Marvel Marco for my personal page on Instagram. Eye of Marco. Eyeball is an eyeball. Mm-hmm. Marco spelled a K, by the way, but I am Marco for my photography. And follow Closet, the clothing store I also happen to manage. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I was yeah, like, yeah. I forgot. I was like, I know I forgot one thing because you yeah. do it all. Yeah, that clothing. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we, got, we got a clothing store over there in Castleberry that I manage with my boy, Original Fani. And nice. we on the way up mixers yes. pop-ups listening parties we gonna get into yeah. with that too so i was gonna i was gonna tell you like yo you need to put me uh introduce me to yeah. um him because yeah. yeah, i've been i've been checking out your stuff and you be look marco also models i don't know if you know that okay <laughs> but he actually models i gotta get my hair done first if you want me to <laughs> yeah you let me know. exactly but yeah he does it all in front of the camera behind the camera directing whatever it is he got you um he also raps just let you guys hey, know hey, hey. throwing it out all there right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> but um but yeah well thank you so much <laughs> we'll see you next time we'll see you around thank you, you know darling. see y'all it's been a pleasure shaking the culture you need like some you need like a bell or something you right <laughs> yeah look, we'll get there we're we gonna get there we're gonna get there but until next time guys see you you feel me no cash on me swipe for a million yeah feel me